Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Okay, hi, I'm Elvin. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing some Nancy Drew. Um, normally I would upload a, a Subnautica video this week, but this is going to take place with the Subnautica video just to give me a break from playing the game because I don't really, I've played it so many times that it's becoming tedious um, to do for the channel. So I don't know if we're going to continue that series. Uh, I guess we'll find out next week. But for this week, we're going to be doing a Nancy Drew game. So this is the first game in the series of Nancy Drew games, and there are a lot of Nancy Drew games. I've been playing them since I was like a wee little thing. And this one, I the last time I tried to play it, I ran into a bug that made it so where I couldn't get through the game. So we'll we'll see if that happens again. Hopefully it doesn't, but we'll 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 make it work. So let's get started. Okay, case file. A student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the murder. I'm posing as a new student to see what other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. Is that it? Okay, simple enough. Um, I'm not going to click on this book because that has... Like, it's, spo it's full of spoilers. It tells you how every case leading up to this one ended, and this is a remake of the first game. So there's, like, 13 games in here that have the endings that are spoilery. So I'm not going to click on that. Let's just go ahead and get started. Now, this is a difficult decision. Um... I've played these games so many times that you would think I should do Senior Detective, but because I'm recording my progress on these games and people are watching me, I'm going to get nervous that I will be unable to do Senior Detective, so I'm going to go Junior. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week and an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. So, it's undercover... I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. I go. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Okay. What's here? Nancy, I had to close the school library early today, but if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember not to enter a wrong combination. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. Well, what's the combination to the safe? Ah, that's probably the combination to the safe. I need to have paper with me to write things down. I didn't think about that. Uh, I'll use my phone. There's a lot in these games that you have to write down and reference later. A lot of things that you have to work out. Um, and it helps to have something, a way to write it down. So I really should have had paper going into this, but oh well, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to play the game. I don't want to go find paper and a pen. So I'm just gonna use my phone. <laughs> so let me just take a picture of this real quick. Okay, so what does this actually say? Paseo del Mar University and the Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority cordially invites you to attend the 25th annual Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority reunion, Saturday the 23rd. The Emerald Crest Ballroom, Paseo del Mar Country Club, Paseo del Mar, Florida. Round Robin Golf Tournament starts at 3.30, reception and dinner at 7 o'clock, dessert and dancing immediately following. Cool. So here's the safe, and it was this one, then this one, then this one, then no, 
this one. There we go! There's the key to the library. What else is in here? A slide puzzle. Of course it's a slide puzzle. Okay, let's, let's try to work this out. Login name Eloise Drew password OY Zelder. Gonna take a picture of that too. Okay. What else do we got in this house? Let's go in here. Reminders, talk to Jake about library books out of order, call Nancy to get flight number, call Jackie about Spanish schools. During her trip with Maxine, Maggie learned an old hiker's trick. Are Lena and Maggie coming to tea? inquired Carl. No, they've gone to see the bandits' treasure at Lake Landa Lakes Theater, replied Anya. Brady Armstrong is playing the lead. This is a book full of references from previous games. Oh, I once visited Brady's restaurant in Napa, California, squealed Renata. It's called Mama Lonies. Mama Lonies? It was magnificent. I ate there, said Carl, and got sick on a jellyfish sandwich. <laughs> jellyfish sandwich? Bob whinnied. Oh, offered Renata. You should have tried the dog's eye. It was Robin Hood. Yeah, this is entirely references from other games. <laughs> it doesn't mean as much now because I haven't played the other games on the channel yet, but I'm just going to close this because it's nonsense if you don't know what it's talking about. Okay. Oh. Teacher's lounge key! Hidden clues are everywhere is the name of this book. The Haunted Ghost Bridge. Strange things have happened on this bridge. Some people have reported hearing screams and cries from below the span. Others have reported ghostly figures looming at the end, and even others have felt a, a cold, tingling sensation throughout their body when crossing. No one is certain about the origin of these sightings, but the first documented case of spectral phenomenon occurred around the turn of the last century when a troop of Girl Scouts camped out here, all returned with their hair turned white. None of the frightened campers spoke a word of it until a year later. A year. At first, the girls just babbled incoherently or screamed or laughed. A psychiatrist specializing in traumatic experiences asked to was asked to examine the girls, but the girls would only say one, free one phrase. Followed the X to the spot below. ZVPEB at the bottom here. I don't know. This, this feels like it should be something. Um... But I have yet to find a, a point in the game where any of this means anything. So I'm <laughs> if you find it, leave a comment. Um, but I think it's just there to be interesting. Okay, let's leave the house. Oh. Nancy Drew, Detective Beach here. How are you? Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads, and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Okay. So let's go talk to him. Who are you? Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. 
My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So, what can I do for you? Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. What happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it? Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective, maybe even the FBI. Did this Jake guy have any enemies? <laughs> I'm not going to toot my own horn. I'm just going to try to get information about what happened. Did this Jake guy have any enemies? Sure. Doesn't everyone? <laughs> I should get back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Talk to you later. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Barnacle Blast, that's from a previous game. Um, we'll get to that later. Aggregation. Nancy Drew is really good about putting references to other from from other previous games into their games. I think all of these are songs from previous games as well. Oh, I have to pay for this. I don't have money. No. <laughs> Um, all of these differently colored letters feels like they should be something. Oh, is my cash cow. Huh, hang on. SH is my cash cow. Who's SH? And then XER3. I need to write that down. Okay. I feel like there was something in the menu too, but I can't really go look at it without talking to Daryl, and I don't want to do that. Um, Uncle Steve! Nancy! Why, I haven't seen you since, uh, uh for a long time. <laughs> How's your... Aunt. Aunt Eloise. Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit, well... My undercover assignments are usually not so... Uh, suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nancy. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to get around in these games. What do we got? I love how they just let me waltz into the kitchen. <laughs> like, no problem. Sure, just come on into the kitchen. To Maxine, Daryl, Carl, Uli, and Mel from Jake Rogers' closing procedure. Maxine wanted me to write a memo describing the finer points of closing the diner. Some people think there are some secrets to the process, but it couldn't be easier. After totaling out the cash register, the cashier brings the cook the recipes, receipts, to, receipts to store in the potato bin. The cook also needs to check the life expiration dates 
on all food, all foods and throw expired ones out. The cashier and cook get all food crumbs off the counter. The cook preps all condiments for the next day. All surfaces are washed so they're bright and shiny. Uh, HGL3, and there's a code here. I'm not sure how to read this one. Unless it's, it, how many lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So maybe the first letter refers to the line and the th the, the, the first number refers to the line and the second number refers to the word in that line. So, 1-3 would be Daryl. 8-9. I need to write this down as I go. Daryl. Uh, 8-9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Daryl brings six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Secrets. Uh, four, four. Two. Daryl brings secrets to five, four. Uh, two, three, four, five. Diner. Four, four. One, two, three, four, two. Twelve, five. That's fourteen, thirteen, twelve. One, two, three, four, five. Get. Four nine. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The eight five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, well, I was looking for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then five. One, two, three, four, five. Cash. Oh. Daryl brings secrets to diner to get the cash. Thirteen, six, four, four, six, a. Ten, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For a for a life. Daryl brings secrets to diner to get the cash for a life. I may have done that one wrong. Oh now I'm lost. Where are we? Which one was that? That was, that was 10, eight. Okay, 14, five. Get. No, that's not 14. This is 14. So. Four ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. So it says Daryl brings secrets to diner to get the cash for a life so finer. Then I need to write down HGL three. Interesting. Looks like something was removed here. Okay. What does this say? Oh, T-E-L-3. Let's write that down. 
and this says C H E C K check. Check. Y E R E Y E. I don't know. S I G H T I N. Sighting Y M. I don't know. I, I don't know what that one is. If I remember correctly, the codes aren't like super important. They just give a lot more substance to the game if you crack them. Um, I'm gonna need those at some point. But if I remove them now, I'll flood the diner with gas. So... What is this? Dear Daryl, I need to break off our date to the Sadie Hawkins dance. I'm very sorry, but something suddenly came up. Connie. Okay. There we go. I think that's all there is to do here. Let's ask Daryl about the Sadie Hawkins date. What can date. I do for you? Do you know why Connie broke your date to the Sadie Hawkins dance? No, it was really weird. But what was even weirder is that she took Jake instead of me. See you later. Later. To the school! Dr. Deception, a poetic drama written by the senior essay winners of Paseo High School. Student files under lock and key will show the file, the, the lies of the doctor to be. Okay. Braille. There's a braille lock on this door, the maintenance room. Uh, what's here? See, a special announcement, Senior Essay Contest. The Hilda Emma Swenson Foundation will award a scholarship for $8,000 uh, to the best senior essay. The theme of this year's contest is methods of good citizenship and role modeling. This is only open to seniors. Interested parties should contact Mr. Suzalo by September 5th, ZND1. Let's go ahead and write that down. Okay, so now there's a code here. P, U to put, L, M, N, Put elements in order to open puzzle. Put elements in order to open puzzle. Okay. What about in here? Is there anything in here? Friends and family are invited to come to the fifth annual picnic of the Paseo Del Mar Junior High School marching band meet in the parking lot at nine in the morning. Picnic will take place December 8th at Walden Reservoir. Woodwinds and percussion should wear full dress, whites except for hats. Brass recital is set for later. L-A-U-2. I think that was it for here. Okay. What about here. Money! Can I read any of these? Money! Okay. Oh, money! Let's talk to Connie. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. Who found the body? Who found the body? 
I heard it was Daryl Gray, Paseo del Mar's hot student council president. Daryl Gray? Oh yeah, Daryl's one of the coolest guys at school. Who was killed? Oh, just this wannabe stud named Jake Rogers. What do you mean? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. Okay, so if I'm looking for somebody who might have killed him, you are possibly at the top of my list. <laughs> That's for teachers only. Oh, but I have a key. Until you can show me some teaching credentials, you're not allowed in. Fine, I'll come back when I have a way to get rid of you. Okay, a crane contestant in a masked disguise won the prize money despite all the lies. ASU4. It's very convenient that someone was leaving these messages all over the school. <laughs> All right, there's somebody. Let's look here first. Paseo High School School News. Uh, seniors, all entries and art exhibit must be picked up at the library on Thursday. See Eloise Drew for info. Uh, this is backwards. The hidden videotape will seal my murderer's fate. Okay. Uh, that sounds important. CR1. Let's talk to you. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. So what's been going on at school lately? Also, your Japanese accent is kind of awful, but we'll, we'll ignore that. <laughs> so what's been going on at school lately? A murder was committed here. Everyone is very stressed out. Um, I heard about that, some kid named Jake. I heard about that, some kid named Jake. Oh yeah, Jake Rogers was a dark soul. He created a lot of trouble. Uh, what do you mean by Dark Soul? Oh, what kind of trouble? What kind of trouble? Jake was an Ijimeko. In English, you would say a bully. He wasn't very popular. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Okay, go on. I'm waiting, head to the library. No? Okay, so you just lied to get rid of me, gotcha. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Oh, was she? What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular and a good politician too. Just like his father. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. See you later. I must go now, Nancy. Let's go talk to Connie. Hey Nancy, need something? Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? Hmm. Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. I guess that comes with a territory of being school monitor. Normally it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks... How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Why did you break your date with Daryl to the Sadie Hawkins dance? <sighs> it's a long story. Did Jake make you break the date? You're asking way too many questions, Nancy. 
What business is it of yours? Mm, I'm going to take that as a yes. Do you know how Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. See you later. See you later. Bye. Okay. I think this is the library for which I have a key. Uh, uh, I don't really feel like... <laughs> so this one, each letter represents a num... Each, each number represents a letter in the alphabet, and you would have to number all the letters in the alphabet and use it as a reference to read this. I'm not in the mood to do that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Hopefully it's not an important one. If I get stuck, I'll come back and do it. But I'm going to go ahead and write down YD3. And there's this one. Grape, grape, orange, cool. We'll play the alarm in the school. That's good to know. ZRR4. Let's not go into the library yet. And here's all the, the... I think this is all fan art that got sent in. It's really cool that they do stuff like this. Um, let's go to the gym. Wait a second, did I pass any billboards? I did not. Okay. Let's go to the gym. Um. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> Nowhere to turn, nowhere to hide. Let the books and the library be your answer guide. That's the first one. A symbol of kanji. The, um, a symbol of kanji worn with great pride. Reflects big secrets. Reflects big secret that someone must hide. That's number two. Ugh. To keep up his something. Okay, I'm mildly dyslexic, so this is awful. <laughs> this third one, I don't know how to, I can't. Oh, even if it to wake the something. He did what it took. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave that one. I, I don't know, I can't, I can't do it. Did I write down KR1? I did not. Um, let's look at this one. Ev for easy. This is obviously something, but I don't know how to read this one either. Crane School of Self-Defense, training that gets results, beginning, intermediate, and advanced classes, 555 Judo. Self-confidence, self-discipline, meditations, fitness, strength, and get a jump on education. So here's this guy, who, spoiler alert, I kinda hate. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. The Hulk? The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. College ball? 
Yeah, I'm playing great football this year. I'm expecting an offer from a Big Ten school any day now. A Big Ten school? What will you major in? Football! I'm destined to become a college star and then turn pro. Then, when I'm famous, jerks like Jake Rogers will eat my socks for breakfast. Does Jake Rogers' death concern you? Why should it? I have a big future ahead of me. That's all that concerns me. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. Okay, fair enough. Now, I have more things to look at before I set off the soda alarm. The soda alarm. Centers on a vid. Is what that says. Here's one. Find the morning edition and discover another crime. The answer is in black and white to who will do the time. IRD2. So let's look at my, my to-do list here. Look and see if Aunt Eloise left me a That's note. Done. Yes. Go to the high school, talk to the students about the murder victim. Look around Aunt Eloise's house for Greek letters to the accommodation to her safe. Uh, look around the library for clues. Go to Maxine's diner and meet Detective Check. Beach. Uh, look in the teacher's lounge. Research the meaning of kanji. Uh, figure out a way to get Connie to leave the student union. Check out all the posters in the gym area. Did that. See what the students have to say about each Can't other. Check that off yet. See if there are any clues in Jake's locker. Did I just look at this one? I did. Did I write it down? I did. Huh. So this is Jake's locker. It's locked because it's a locker. Who was that? Right, left, down, up, letters, the f oh, up, down, left, right, the first letters will help my plight. Oh, 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 no, I don't want to do that. I want to save, actually. Okay, I've looked at the whole school, except for the library. Let's go look at the library. All right, we are in the library. There's nothing at the information desk. Magazines. It told me to find the morning edition. Apparently not. Oh, there we go. Spring edition. Sports today. The race to the finish line, the real home team advantage, managing stress for competition, making time for fitness and fun, harmful, harmful effects of steroids on athletes, the insanity of steroid abuse, use and effects of exogenous anabolic steroids. Anabolic steroids are drugs used to enhance athletic performance and build muscle mass. They are virtually all derivatives of the testosterone or substances which promote the overproduction of testosterone in primates. In America, anabolic steroids are classed as a controlled substance, and possession of even small amounts of hectanol or human growth hormone can land a dealer in jail. Yet, steroid use has doubled and redoubled in the American fitness scene over the last 20 years. What is the attraction? Why would a star, amateur, or professional athlete risk jail time for possession? Because many people think they can get a little bit of extra performance if they take the stuff. Uh, peer, peer pressure among college and even high school athletic teams is another reason. If everyone on the team is taking drugs, you have to you have to as well to keep up, because the early gains from anabolic steroid use are awesome. But there are no shortcuts to athletic excellence. The physiological side effects are terrible. Liver, liver damage, heart disease, and impotence are just a few of the problems. The low body fat levels encountered with heavy countered with the low body fat levels encountered with heavy steroid use are unhealthy. In addition, though anabolic steroids grow at a fast rate, the ch they, the, the don't change, they don't change the composition of con connective tissues nor the heaviness of bones. Thus, while the muscles are stronger, the support systems for them are not, so injury is often the result. 
Okay. medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, research Check. the meaning of the kanji symbol Connie is wearing. Done. What about here? Harry Houdini, born in 1874 in Budapest, Hungary, under the name of Eric Weiss. Houdini's family soon moved to Appleton, Wisconsin. From there, at the age of 12, Houdini ran away from home. By the age of 13, he had reunited with his family in New York City and begun performing uh, magic card tricks under his original stage name, Eric the Great. In the course of his illustrious 33-year career, Houdini escaped from prison cells, handcuffs, leg irons, straitjackets, packing crates, milk cans, coffins, and St. Louis tycoon J.J. Thompson's in infamous watery grave. In addition to being the great, uh, greatest escape artist of all time, Houdini was also a master of illusion. In 1918, at the Hippodrome in New York City, he made an elephant disappear on stage. And according to Houdini, the elephant Ginny weighed 10,000 pounds. His brilliant skill and ability to baffle and amaze the audience remains unsurpassed to this day. Is that the only one here? Yeah. Marie Antoinette, born in Vienna. So the books that I'm reading right now are from other games. So I'm going to have to read them again once we get to those games. So I think I'm just going to put them back. There's the Applegate. That's another game. Braille. Here we go. I'm going to take a picture of this because it's going to be useful. Braille is a code of small raised dots on paper that can be read by touch. In 1829, the Braille system was published based on a grid of six dots. This system allows 63 different arrangements of dots, which represents the alphabet, punctuation marks, numbers, and music. Braille books are pressed from metal plates. The dots are stamped on both sides of the paper by a process called interpointing. The dots on one side do not interfere with the dots printed on the other side. Okay, what's over here? That looks like a CL. But it doesn't have a number with it, so I guess it's not a CL. If anything happens to me, search under my combo and catalog. N-A-L-3. Okay. Well, we could do that, but we don't know his combo yet. Yeah, there's... We, we don't... This is going to be useful. So you may start to notice that all of these codes that we're finding and writing down start with an element. And one of the things that we've um, solved, one of the codes that we've solved so far, said to put the elements in order. And then the other one said, right, up, left, right, uh, down, something or other. So. <clears throat> Jake was here. Oh, look at those. I okay, things to remember me. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order. The letter and digit tell the direction. So that's what I was just talking about. There's, We're going to have to put the elements in order by element number. 
and then the 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 letter and digit after it are up a number, down a number, left a number, or right a number. So that's going to be important. And there's 19 of these that we need to find. So I, you two, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of them right now. We need to find three more. But I think that's it for up here. So let's go check out the teacher's area. So what was it? Grape, grape, orange, cool to play the alarms in the school? Great! You broke it! Trying to get... There we go. Connie! Why all the questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. Connie, the student monitor to the rescue. Again. Okay. Yes! Here we are. Um, where do you want to start? Eloise Drew. Oh, wise. And I think it's with spaces. Okay. Printer. Security report. Mail. Eloise, we need to find a replacement for Jake Rogers for bulletin board duty. Ah! Please send me a list of candidates you recommend for this duty, Principal Parton. So, the person who's been leaving all of the messages on the bulletin boards is probably Jake. And Jake is the boy that got killed. Uh, CD-ROM, not available. Passwords. Maintenance room, the, the password to the maintenance room is note. To-do list, locate missing book. What was that? Locate missing book or order replacement for English essays through the ages. Okay. Gather donations for sophomore book sale. Update meeting information for Paseo Book Club. Take down student art exhibit on Friday. Have library computers networked with school. Okay. Let's go see what we printed. Uh, security detail report. Name T. Atanta. Date Thursday, shift 2nd. 5.15 p.m., lights left on in the library, sent email to Eloise Drew. Uh, 6 p.m., all outer entrance doors checked and locked. Backpack belonging to Connie Watson, found in student union, placed and lost and found. Several outside security lights are out, work order submitted. Toolbox from Dylan HVAC service left in boiler room, left note with maintenance. Uh, 7 p.m., patrolled outside grounds on foot. Dumpsters by cafeteria were not properly secured. Several raccoons in area. I've sent several notes to kitchen staff to secure dumpsters. This needs to be addressed. 8.05 p.m. Observed young man peering through school entrance doorways. He identified himself as an exchange student and was trying to retrieve his homework. I let him in and escorted him to his locker and escorted him out of the building. At approximately 8.30 p.m., I overheard two individuals arguing outside Geyser Gym. When I approached them, two males ran down Rutherford Street. The first male was approximately 5 foot 5 inches, 120 pounds, red hair, 15 to 18 years old. He wore a, gray, a green windbreaker and jeans. The second male was 15 to 18 years old and wore a football jersey with the numbers 8 or 0 on it. So that's... Uh, a male with red hair. I, I haven't met a male with red hair. That's probably Jake. And then the second male was... The Hulk. 
9.25 p.m. caught several students soaping the teacher's lounge windows. Students admitted that they were engaged in a senior prank. I instructed the students to clean the windows and leave campus. The students involved were Daryl Gray, Nathan Gomber, and Yvonne Wong. The students' names have been given to the principal Parton. At 12.01 a.m., heard screams from East Stairwell after calling 911, found male teenager who apparently fell from stairs, attempted to apply first aid, see police report for further details. Okay. Oh, CLD2, there we go, there's one. So that's 17. Gray Enterprises reported a 500 million second quarter loss Tuesday, but CEO and founder Eugene Gray remained optimistic about his struggling company. We anticipate increased defense spending in the next year. Our new missile guidance system, Bright Aurora, will be online in six months and we foresee accelerated growth from this new system. A recent Senate hearing examining possible leaks of classified information in the Paseo Del Mar company has soured many investors. Gray Enterprise stock has sunk by almost 75% in the past year. Despite these setbacks, some analysts remain positive about Gray Enterprises' future. They're the most innovative developer of military hardware, said industry analyst Brenda Baumbrecher. If they can weather the current storm of mismanagement and loss, they'll do very well with Bright Aurora. Mr. Gray said his company will report a strong profit this year. A trophy was not the only prize, but also money of a greater size. AGD1. So now we're just missing one. Hello? You better stop your nosy nosing, or it'll get bent way out of shape. Uh... and air conditioning and cooling. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. You called me and threatened me? No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. I'm not talking about air conditioning. I'm and that talking was about threat. you threatening me. I didn't threaten you. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. Hmm. I feel like that whole, we'll send someone to find a permanent solution was also a thinly veiled threat. Okay, so I have been recording for an hour. I don't think I want to put these episodes in, as one big episode for each game. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you subscribe, please consider hitting the bell so you can get notified for future uploads. Um, I hope you have a great day. Bye! -bye.